So in this last look at the different types of tissue systems, we'll entitle this flowchart Tissue Systems 3, and we'll subtitle it by looking at this last tissue system known as the ground TS, or tissue system. Here, what we're going to establish is a couple of key facts. The ground tissue system is the majority of a plant's comp composition. So most plants are mainly just ground tissue. So majority of plant composition. So that's a big thing. That means this probably has a big function, has a big role in the overall success of a plant. And it does, and it will show because of the following fact. Ground tissue possesses a variety, a huge variety of cells within it because tissue is composed of cells. These cells are going to have a huge variety, and if they're structurally variable, that means they're functionally variable with a variety, another variety right there, of functions. And you'll see what I mean by this right now. The functions will include things like storage. We're going to look at these cells a little bit later. Um, storage, we're going to look at photosynthetic cells of ground tissue. There will be cells that are specifically devoted to support. Those are going to be important, of course. And short distance transport, just to name a few of the general functions that we see in ground tissue. So we can already see functionally variable, and then structurally we'll also see that they're very much uh, a variety. So this is a majority of the plant composition, variety, variety, variety is key here. And then finally, last thing to see here about the ground tissue is that there are going to be basically two types of ground tissue to focus on. Those will be the pith and the cortex. The pith is going to be the ground tissue the GT for ground tissue, that is internal. Put this in big, bold, capital letters. You want to make sure you understand the distinction. Ground tissue that is internal to the VT, the vascular tissue, uh, within the steel. So the pith, I like to think of this as the interior. There's going to be actually ground tissue that's within the steel, aka inside of the vascular tissue, that is known as the pith. And that's going to be a very specific part of the plant that's going to be important in overall structure and function, as we'll see. Whereas the cortex is the exact opposite. This is going to be GT, ground tissue, that is external, that is covering the outside of what we just said. It's external to the overall vascular system. So it is around the xylem phloem steel structure, not within it. So that covers our ground tissue, um, sort of as a, a completion to this tissue and organ uh, look at plant anatomy. I just want to draw a line here and just do a very quick summary of what we've just looked at in the past six or seven flowcharts. They've been very sort of uh, abroad in their capacity, and I just want to make sure we orient ourselves correctly in terms of what we're looking at. Of course, the title of today's lecture is anatomy, plant anatomy specifically, and plant anatomy consists of several systems. And those systems can be, I like to divide them up as organ systems, and also, within those organ systems, there will be tissue systems. But I'm just going to put these on the side as separate things because that's how we've looked at them thus far. The organ systems contain, within plants, those that are part of the root organ system or things that are part of the shoot organ system. The root organ system is just going to think, consist of exactly what you think, roots. Whereas the shoot system consists of things like stem, and leaves, and also flowers if we're looking or being a little more specific. So those are our organs. We cover that, basically the first three or four videos. Now, in the last three or four videos, we've been looking at the tissue systems of plant anatomy. Those tissue systems are, just like we covered, the dermal, the vascular, and of course, like above the ground. So that's basically what a plant organization is broadly looks, looks like, just like we've covered in the past couple of videos. Now what we're going to be doing is going a little deeper. We're, we've gone from a large macro look in the first organization flowchart to a little more specific every time. Now we're going to go one more step of specificity by going from tissues and going deeper and looking at the cells of plant anatomy.